Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. Today, I am gonna be pulling up all of my arugula because it's starting to bolt on me. Today is 80 degrees, and yesterday it was 79. <laughs> so, uh, in the foreseeable future, it's gonna be quite warm. Uh, this is the end of February, and we're already hitting quite a warm spell. Hopefully, that doesn't mean the summer is gonna be brutally hot like it was last summer. I mean, it always is in Texas, but it was abnormally hot last year. So time to pick all the arugula. I don't have a use for it right now and I don't want it to go bad in the fridge. So I'm just gonna give it to my chickens. Um, I, we do eat arugula, but I've already got so much in the fridge right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass this on to the chickens and it'll open up some spots to be able to grow some other stuff. I've got some lettuce varieties that I wanna throw in in the spots that uh, the arugula is. Uh, stuff like romaine that can handle a little bit more warmth and kind of actually needs the longer days. Uh, they don't like the cold as much, so. So here's a row of arugula. I've also got some over there. I've got one plant over there. The spinach seems to be doing just fine for now, um, although I do need to pick some, and I, I'll probably do that pretty soon here uh, because it's starting to encroach in each other, so got to thin that out, but let's, let's go ahead and rip these up, and you can see I'm getting flowers, and I keep almost every day picking the flowers off and they're sending new ones up. So we'll just go ahead and uproot these. Try to keep as much of the dirt as possible there. And like I said, this is all, this is all going to the chickens. And they love it. They love arugula. And then over here, I've got some more. This one's a little older. A little more root development, harder to pick up, actually. But you can see all these sending shoots off for flowers. So, in fact, this one already is way up there. It's just, it's become a pain to try to keep up with these. I'm tired, boss. And, I mean, we like, I like arugula a lot, but we're not using it daily, so it's become more of a hassle than anything keep these from bolting and it's just getting way too warm for these. Now just two days ago I thinned out this spinach so they don't need to be thinned out yet but it does look actually soon they will. So I could probably thin that out again today. We'll get some more spinach. And I'm also getting some bolting going on in my cilantro but i'm going to keep it for a couple days because i want to use it i do like cilantro a lot got some thyme right in the center there it's growing good now it was kind of a little rough on it in that winter that freeze almost knocked it back but doing okay now you know and for some reason this is not bolting on me these are radishes cherry bell radishes that um i'm actually want to go to seed so i'm waiting and you can see they're way huge in there. That's the biggest cherry bell radish I've ever seen. <laughs> I waited too long to pick them. Uh, and so I decided, hey, let's let them go to seed. We shall see how long that takes. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that. Saving seed for these radishes, let me know how long it takes. I might need to rip those up anyway. Let's go ahead and feed this to the chickens. There's a lot for them, but we'll get a lot of eggs from it. So I got to clean out their water dish right now. There you go, guys. They love this stuff. Being so warm, I probably better get a shade cloth up on this too for the next couple weeks. This is cabbage and broccoli. So those will bolt on me as well if I don't. So I'm not sure I'm gonna put seeds in here. I don't want it to be too close. Those remains get quite large. I do have a mini remain that might work there, but I'll probably put those in a seed tray and then figure out where I'm gonna put them later. Maybe it's there, maybe not. But this garlic is gonna start getting pretty big here soon. So I don't wanna necessarily have that encroach in the garlic or the garlic encroach in the, the lettuce. But definitely here, I'll put some. Let me go get those seed packets and we'll get those planted. So these are the two lettuces I'm gonna plant. This is an iceberg. A crisp head lettuce. This is Paris Island cost. And this is a romaine type lettuce. 
I'm mostly gonna have the romaine because I use that a lot. And instead of doing a row, I'm gonna actually space these apart. It says 10 inch apart for plant spacing. And this is once every 12 inches. So that'll be fine right there. It might encroach a little bit onto the onion and the cilantro, but by the time this comes up, that cilantro is gonna have to be gone because it'll be way bolted. I recently had put that in the granule fertilizer, so I'm not gonna add any. So I'm just scratching up the, the ground here. Let's go ahead and make a little hole. I'll start with uh, this iceberg. Really only need a couple. This is a pretty new packet, so we'll just stick a couple in there, pat it down, make sure there's good soil contact. Here is going to be the romaine. We'll make a couple holes. Yeah, we'll get four in this. I, I think I can get them a little closer, honestly. I know it says 10 inches. Last year I planted these and they were they were not quite 10 inches and they did just fine. Now this packet's a little older, so I'm gonna add a few more than normal, just to ensure I get a good, some good germination. All right, let's get some over here. We'll get two. So that'll be six total plants. Let's scratch all this up a little bit. I might be able to get a row of iceberg right here. Maybe half half. Actually, probably do that. We'll do romaine on this side, iceberg on that. So let's do let's do the romaine on this side since I've got it in my hand on here. We'll get that there. Two, three. Four. I like remain better, so we'll stick that right in the center. We'll do three on the other side with the... And then the iceberg. Keep getting way too much out of that packet. So usually I wait on the video until something sprouts and show you guys that, uh, the length of time it, it sprouts, but I think that'll be a separate video. This will be the end of the video. It is February 21st, so we can keep track. So next time I have a video come out about this lettuce sprouting, you'll be able to know how long it took. And I can always link in that video back to this one and vice versa once that's up, I'll link to that one in this video. So if you're coming up watching this in a couple days after this uploads that video might be ready and i'll show these sprouting all right so let's water this in of course we just planted something and of course over there on that spot there we go well thanks for watching everyone if you guys like this kind of content please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates also if you could hit the like button it would really help me and the channel out and i will see you on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind